National Educator. Hello students, I am teacher Thaddeus Baluka and today I am teaching you chemistry from one lesson one. Our topic of today is introduction to chemistry. Welcome. Let's look at our lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to recall the subject and the topics that were taught in primary level science. The learner should be able to name the branches in science, define chemistry, and explain its role in the society. Let's look at review. Our first objective is to be able to remember what are the branches, what are the subjects that are related to science that you learned in primary school. So let's start by looking at the subjects. In secondary school, science is as three branches. It's divided into three major subjects. And the first subject that falls under science is biology. The other subject is chemistry. The other subject is physics. Now, let's look at some of the topics that you also learned in primary school that are also related to science or rather to chemistry. One of those subjects, one of those topics is matter. Another topic that you tackled is drugs. Another topic that you tackled in primary level science is mixtures. So let's start by looking at the first topic that you also learned in primary school and the first topic is matter. In our, in our day to day interaction, we interact with several substances, and those substances are either going to be solid, liquid, or gases. And that is what we call now matter. So let's look at definition of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. As you learned in primary school science, matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Let's look at the state of matter. There are three states of matter. The first state is solid. And you can be able to see this is an example of a solid. We have sand, we have stones, we have copper. We also have liquids. Like here, I have a bottle. And inside this bottle, there is water. And water is an example of a liquid. We also have gas. You may not be able to see the gas inside the environment, but when you look at a balloon like this, these balloons are inflated and they are filled with air. So now let's look at some of the properties of matter. And we, we have said the three states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. One thing that you need to understand is the three states of matter are interconvertible. That means that you can convert a substance from one state to another. And as shown in the diagram on the screen, we have a solid. And looking at that particular solid, you can convert a solid into a liquid. The process that occurs to change a solid to a liquid is called melting. You require some heat. You can also convert a liquid into a gas. And the process that is involved to convert a liquid to a gas is what you call boiling or evaporation. We can also convert a gas into a liquid as shown on the screen, and that process is called condensation. You can also convert a liquid to a solid, and that is called freezing. In primary school, 
You also learned that you can easily convert a solid to a gas directly to a gas without passing through the liquid state. The process of converting a solid into a gas without passing through the liquid state is called sublimation. You can also convert a gas into a solid directly without condensation. And that process now is called deposition.